Let's write the structure for cyclohexane. We'll also take a look at the molecular formula. So when we look at the name, there are a few things we should note. First is it ends in A-N-E. When we see A-N-E, that tells us we're going to have an alkane. And it's going to be all carbons and hydrogens and only single bonds. So we're going to have carbons, hydrogens, single bonds. Hex, that tells us there are going to be six. So we're going to have six carbons, all single bonds, hydrogens around them. And finally, we have this cyclo. That means we're going to have a ring. So we'll have a ring with six carbons, all carbons and hydrogens, and single bonds. Let's draw that. So we have our six carbons here in a ring, and each carbon in an alkane will be attached to four things because it only can have single bonds. So this carbon, for example, has one, two, and then it's going to have two more things. Those are going to be hydrogens, and we can just put these off like this. So this is the structure for cyclohexane. If you count the carbons up, we know we have six. If you count the hydrogens up, we'll have 12. So the molecular formula is C6H12. Often you'll see cyclohexane written just like this. We have the carbons, but we don't write the hydrogens in. So that's another way that you can write it. One final thing to note about cyclohexane. If we're looking at it straight on, we have this hexagon but let's look at it in three dimensions. So here it is, the black or the gray, those are the carbons, the white are the hydrogens. And we have this hexagon, just like we drew. But if you look at it from the side, you can see that some are higher up than others. So it's not perfectly flat. That has to do with the bond angle for the carbons. Carbons typically form bond angles, which are 109.5 degrees when they're single bonded. In this case, though, because it's in a ring, they can't have that 109.5. That kind of gives it this puckered conformation here, so it's not entirely flat. Let's go back. Because of that, sometimes when you have this from the side, you'll see it drawn like this right here to show you that kind of puckered conformation. But either way, this is the structure for cyclohexane, the formula, molecular formula, C6H12. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.